Hi, I'm Brandon Cullins, and I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about what to do when things don't go so good. Uh, when we're, I train Futuri horses, so we exhibition and we have to make them kind of run, speeding them up and putting them in situations where they might fail or might, something might go wrong and what to do then. To me, when a colt's exhibitioning, um, depending on where they are in their stage, if it's really early and um, I'm just teaching them, I'll, and something goes wrong, I'll slow down and stop them and go back and fix it. But once I start taking those colts and I'm trying to not necessarily clock them, but really let them get that feel like they're in a competition run and, and let them float through there and turn the barrels. Unless they do something really bad, I'm not going to stop them. Like if they stick their head up and shoot out or something, I'll pull them up and circle it again, but not, not make a big deal about it. But if they step off a little bit and doesn't feel like it should, I'm still just going to let them go. I'm going to ease off the gas a little bit because obviously they're a little bit ahead of where they should be. But I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to stop them and correct it. I'm going to let them go on and turn the next barrel and hopefully they get that one figured out and then come on out. I feel like if you correct everything and micromanage and pick and pick and pick, they'll just stop trying. They'll get to a backside of a barrel and then they'll just stop. They'll just, or just quit you and just not leave and power out. Like you, they got to have a little bit of that confidence like, I'm doing this, you're just along for the ride. Because that's what they're going to need when you go in competition. So I'm real careful about kind of, and it's a fine line uh, when you when you should, when you shouldn't. But um, for the most part, as long as they're not just taking the bit and running off with me or making a, or diving out of barrel, if one dives out of barrel, then I probably will stop them and pick them up because that's that's never a, a good thing. But um, but like I said, if one steps off a barrel or, or gets a little bit by it, I'm going to still keep going with it because I want to keep that confidence in them. Um, same for the, um, in a futurity run, after you start competing and you're, you're running for money, and it's very, you kind of have to have that mental timer in your head, knowing if it's an average or if it's a, a two chances to get back to the finals or one shot to get back to the finals. Um, and it's like, it's all dependent on where you are, what's going on. But normally if I'm making a run on one, and same deal as like the exhibitions, if it's, if it's like a, two, especially if it's a two run, just to get back, or, or if it's just a jackpot and I'm on a futurity colt. Um, if they make a mistake, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna kinda ease off and, and try to just salvage the next run and, and not make too big of a deal about it. Um, but if it's like a one run to get back, you kinda have to roll with it and, and try to make it up or just stay smooth and, and, and get back and then kinda fix your problems later. But you also wanna be very mindful of um, what's gonna hurt your horse you might get back to the finals, but if you have no horse left to get to the final at the finals, then what's the point of being there? So you kind of have to be careful there. Like if I get by a barrel, I'm not going to kayak to try to make it up in speed. I'm going to just try to smooth out and make that turn quicker, and that's how I'm going to make it up. Not so much outrun them because all of them are fast. I got to outturn them. So, um, but that to me is is very very situation dependent. Um, like I said, if you're you're always trying to make make that money, and a lot of times you, they'll, they'll be quicker than you even realize as long as you keep it smooth. I ran one the other weekend and uh, had a real good first, and the ground kind of got him at the second, and he just got digging, and I just let him turn it, and I kind of eased up on him. I thought we were going to be out of it, and I just kept him between the reins, stayed smooth, he turned his third really good, and just let him run on out. And like there, I didn't chase him out because I didn't want to like kick his adrenaline either. Uh, and it was just a jackpot. So I just kind of let him run out on his own and he was running fast enough and he ended up winning the jackpot, which um, there I think, and I think that was, that was just the last run I made before I come out to another futurity. And I believe that that's gonna help him down the road because he's not, like I didn't make too big of a deal about anything. I just kept his confidence, kept him soothed, didn't pull him up, just kind of kept going through it. And smooth is always fast. So, and, and smooth builds confidence in you and your horse. So that's where I really think you have to, to keep in mind. Um, things are gonna go wrong, just kind of go with it. And unless, like I said, they're running off with you, then you might need to reel them back in. But just try to stay smooth.